welcome back to my channel. I'm Molly from Vintage Grace Design, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to achieve a dipped look on this dresser here. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in seeing more content like this video. It's been stripped and sanded down and it is now ready for our dipped look. So I'll show you what I'm thinking here. I am planning on doing a dipped look. About a third of the top will be left bare wood and then the two thirds lower half is going to be painted. So I am going to apply a paint wash to the top part because I want to leave it a really light wood and it's hard to achieve a raw wood look when you seal wood because the sealer or the top coat you use will typically darken the wood. So I wanna keep this as light as possible because I love the color of this wood and I really love this joint detail here. So I wanna be able to showcase all of that along with the light wood. So I am going to first apply a paint wash and I'll show you how I do that. All right, here are all my supplies that I'll need for the paint wash. Everything that I'm using here will be linked down below in the description box, but we'll go through these. First of all, you're gonna want to have some gloves because this is a super messy process. And then application methods here, you can use a brush to brush it on and then wipe back with paper towels. Or you could apply it with a dampened sponge. And again, you're gonna wanna wipe off the excess with paper towels. As far as the actual paint wash goes, I am using the color Restoration from One Hour Enamel. I do sell this on my website. And this is a really nice kind of creamy tan color that I think will be perfect for a raw wood look. So what I did to make this uh, paint wash is I took one part paint to four parts water. So it is super liquidy. I did not want it opaque. You can test out different variations if you want it to be a darker like more opaque paint wash, then you'll add less water. But if you want it to be thinner and more of a translucent type of wash, then you're going to want to add more water. So I would recommend testing out a few different uh, variations to see what you like best for your project. But I tested out a few and I liked the one part paint to four parts water. So that's what we're going with. First, I'm just gonna take some painter's tape and I am just gonna take a little bit and apply it behind the hardware holes so none of my paint wash drips down. brush it on. I would just brush it on evenly and you're going to want to walk, work pretty quickly because we don't want it to sit for too long. So once you have an even coat on, you're going to want to take a paper towel and then just wipe off any of that excess. And keep in mind, it will darken a bit once you put the top coat on and once you, once you seal this paint. So we just want it to be a really light, translucent wash. So you can see here the difference in color. So this is with the paint wash, so a real light wash, and then this is it original. So really the idea is this is going to, this paint wash is gonna act as a barrier. So when I do seal with the top coat, it will not darken as much as if you were to top coat or seal raw wood, it deepens quite a bit. So you really can't keep that light raw wood look if you do wanna seal it and you definitely wanna seal raw wood. And what's nice about paint wash, a paint wash is that you can always do a second coat after you let the first one completely dry. You don't want to mess with it once you've once you've put it on and wiped it back. You really don't want to go back and forth and keep trying to tweak it. You want to wait until it completely dries and then you could always add another coat if it's not dark enough for you and you want it a bit 
darker or richer in color. And then don't forget to do the edges as well. going to want to find a nice clean spot on your paper towel. You don't want to keep going over it with a wet uh, or painted section. larger surface area like a big drawer like this or will we do the top of the dresser I like to use a dampened sponge it's just much quicker to apply because you it is time sensitive you don't want to leave the paint wash for too long so I'm gonna use a sponge for this and all I'm gonna do is just pour a little bit onto this plate the different types of wood, how they, like look how different that is. Like this has a pinky, purpley type of tone to it. And then this one is super blonde and a, a lot more gray tones. So every, and that goes for stain too, every species of wood will take the stain or a paint wash differently. So it's very hard to get the same look twice. If you do want to tone down wood colors like this pinkish hue, you'll just want to use a different color to neutralize it. So you'll look at the color wheel and essentially pick the color across from it. So across from red is green, so you would take a green tinted wash and apply it over this to neutralize the pink color. going to tape off the entire upper portion because I'm painting the bottom. So I have painter's tape and a measuring tape and then I have some straight edges to help me line it up. So I am going to start my line right down the middle of this drawer that already has a line made for me so that makes it easier. All right, now we're gonna make sure that the tape is down really well. So just take something hard like a credit card. I'm just using my Bondo scraper and you're going to press against the edge here, make sure it has a really good tight seal. I am also going to seal it with some poly as well, just for extra insurance to make sure there's no bleeding at the line. And I'll show you how I do that after we finish this.
tape off the entire top of plastic. So I like to use this Scotch Blue pre-taped painter's plastic. It also comes in a shorter size, so I'll use the shorter one for the size. what it looks like when it is all done. It's all covered in plastic and taped off. So now I am just going to go and I'm going to seal the tape edge with a little bit of poly. So I'm using this to basically seal the edge of the tape. So if there's any bleeding underneath the tape, it's going to be clear so it won't matter. And then I'll be going over this with my color. Also, this is a good test to see what the paint wash will look like sealed. Do you see how it's not darkening much at all? And that is the power of the paint wash, where if I had left it raw wood, it, this would be darkening it quite a bit, like this. You can see here, this is what, this is what the color would turn for the wood because this is raw wood and then this has the paint wash and that paint wash acted as a barrier so it's not soaking up all of this poly. Here is my go-to primer. This is the Stain Eliminating Primer in White from Wiseowl that I do retail on my website. I like to prime in white because it allows me to test for bleed through and to see any imperfections that I might need to fill or fix. And then it also provides a great surface for my coat of paint. If you're new to using a paint sprayer, you can check out my Spraying for Beginners video, which I'll link right here. So we do have some bleed through. So there is some slight discoloration that you can see in parts. Might be hard to tell on camera. But that is all bleed through, so I am going to need to put on several more coats of primer to cover that. And I'm also going to need to try to fill some of the wood grain here. And what I like to do is I like to take a mini roller and do my next coat of primer with a roller and really work it into all the open grain to, to fill that. And then on this side, we're going to need to do some repairs down here at the bottom. There's some gap and cracked wood and some gouges missing. So we'll fill all of that with wood filler. Always using my favorite wood filler, the DAP Premium Wood Filler. And I'm just have a little spatula. I will go ahead and fill all of these. Before I get to my next coat of primer, I do have to lightly sand down the surface so I can knock down any texture that I got from applying the first coat of primer. So I really like these rad pads from Surf Prep. This is the super fine, but they come in all different grits. This is great for giving your surface a really smooth finish. And then I'll also use these little blue sponges from Amazon. These are a little bit higher grit, so if you have more texture, these are great to use if you do have more texture. Next, we need to wipe the entire piece down with a microfiber cloth just to get rid of all of the primer sanding dust that we just created. start off by 
mixing half and half. So 50% restoration with 50% antique villa. And we will see if we like that. Graco TC Pro Airless Sprayer for this one. And what's great about this sprayer is that it's cordless, so it's battery operated. In my next video, I'll actually be going through a full tutorial on how to use this particular sprayer. So if you're interested, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss that video. Look at that nice crisp line. And that's exactly why we sealed the tape with a top coat. So there's no bleed through. So I'm gonna seal the base here and the other parts that I left wood with a top coat. I want this to look as close to raw wood as possible. So I don't want any sheen. So I'm gonna go with a matte top coat. I'm going to be sealing it with Verithane water-based polyurethane in the matte. I also really like the one hour enamel in the clear, but I only have that in satin. So because I wanna keep it really matte without sheen, I'm gonna go with this top coat for this project. step is just to come back in with a small brush and paint the edges. I get asked this question all the time. How do you spray with your drawers in? It's very easy. I just come back and touch it up with paint. Personal preference, I say this all the time, but it doesn't actually save me time, space, and I feel like I waste a lot of material if I have to wrap each drawer individually with plastic to protect it from overspray. I also save time from not having to have the drawers all over my workspace. So that is just my personal preference. So because the hardware didn't clean up as well as I would have liked and they seem to be a bit of different colors, I am going to spray paint them. So I'm between Sunlit Brass and Champagne Mist. Sunlit Brass is a little bit more gold and Champagne Mist has a little bit more of a champagne color. I'm leaning towards Sunlit Brass, so I'm gonna start with this one and see if I like it. If I don't, then I'll do my second coat with Champagne Mist. And here is the finished piece. I love how it turned out. I just think it was such a fun project. And I'm so glad I finally got to try the dipped look.
watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and that you love this dresser as much as I do. I can't wait to try this dipped look on another piece soon and I hope that you'll give it a try as well. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and I would love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next video. Bye guys.